my goal tonight for the curfew is uh, mostly safety, safety for our employees and of course our customers, who's uh, thankfully visiting us at this time. But you know, we want them to be safe as well. I do recommend to stay at home. Uh, you know, make sure uh, our uh, persons are lower than what it is at the moment, so that way we could uh, all survive. And uh, when the uh, number goes down, then there will be less restriction for businesses. And of course, with the uh, curfew, we have to close down at 10, which I can only accept customers to 9.15. And we have to send everyone home by 10. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's not just the, uh, us or business, you know, all the great town business owners are struggling right now due to either losing the operation hours, you know, losing employees, and of course, uh, employees' wages as well. You know. We have about uh, 27 front of house members, and of course, uh, in total, I believe we have about 50 to 60 right now. And these employees, like, uh, you know, they either came back or someone lost their job, you know, we, we had to let the people go. And we only got like about like 60% back on duty. And now they're about to lose their jobs again because of these uh, curfew and possible safer at home uh, rules. And people are losing money and there's no support. I know there was a stimulus checks and a uh, EDD for all employees, but you know, at the time of beginning of a safer home order, then um, everyone's gonna struggle, either the, the rent, their uh, payments, and of course the there's no differ for any discount on our our rent as well, which is like a, uh, if there's no support, then everyone's gonna collapse. They're just sailing to you know one of the location, but we don't know where it is right now.